gospel minister Ibuka songs is set to take Syria alone to the next level with his latest concert. We will be discussing why few gospel minister Ibuka songs left spotlight and nation, and also this feeling of we saying I think there is an issue between them. My final thought on that, and we'll also be talking about Gospel Minister Ibuka Song's serial loan concert. These and more we will be discussing in this video, my beautiful people. You are welcome to my channel. I'm Ami React. Over here, I do just I do reactions on all that good stuff. Kindly do well by liking the video. Kindly do well by subscribing to the channel. Pray and worship with Abu Kas songs serial loan. Date November twenty fourth. Time six p.m. Location: Military Town play, Praying Field. Oh my god, this is one of Ebuka Song's biggest program ever. You all know many of Ebuka Song's programs are usually, you know, small packed, but this is his first time going all out and doing something magnificent. Once more, congratulations to you, Ebuka Songs, on this new feat you have attained in your gospel career. I'm really so happy for you when I pray that the grace of God will go before you in this program and make it a huge success. Ewoka Song took to his Instagram page to say, Hello, wonderful soldiers of Christ. I'm excited to bring to you a personal mission of mine and a carry-on call. The Lord has made it possible for it to happen in Accra, Ghana, Amsterdam, Netherlands, schools in Nigeria and some states as well. This time, the journey continues with Freetown Syria Loan. It's with utmost delight that I announce to you pray and worship Syria Loan. And we know we will see Jesus Christ clearly. Wow! It is time to have an awesome time in the presence of God. And we'll be glad indeed because this is a day that the Lord has made. We can't wait to see revival break out from this nation. See you on the 24th of November. God bless you all. Oh my God. This is a big one for Gospel Minister Ebuka's songs. In ever since he has started his gospel career, I've not really seen him, you know, do something this big and doing it for the first time outside the shores of Nigeria. I would say a big congratulations to him and hopefully God will make this concert a very huge success. Now, I think I kind of know part of the reasons why Ebuka's songs left Spotlight Nation. I feel that Spotlight Nation would have been limiting him to an extent in his gospel career and that was part of the reasons why he left because i always remember that interview he made where he always say um you know when uh you know god tells you it's time to leave or when you're not fulfilling your purpose in a particular place you have to leave we know god gave people different assignments i think this was what he was talking about i feel that he felt staying in spotlight nation would limit him and he didn't want to be limited he wanted to be as free as a bird my only um will i say mm, issue with him was that he wasn't giving honor to who honor honor was due to that is just the little resentment i had and also those him. side side notes that i was just seeing all over the place i was like no 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 people leave record labels and you know they still try to you know settle things amicably or do things without passing the wrong message about the record label so because if he's in spotlight nation he will not be able to host concerts like this yes instead he will have to be under someone which is moses bliss so i feel these are part of the reasons why he left spotlight nation but i also feel that there is a place of um, tutoring there's a place of mentorship in gospel ministry you know you have to stay under a leader get mentored understand the gospel ministry properly then that mentor gives you their blessing and then you move on you get me but with the way things went with him and Moses Blaze, it's obvious that it didn't really go that you know that smooth but um like i always say here i'm not here to judge any one of them because i don't have first-hand information of what happened 
I'm just judging it based on things I see on their pages. Yes. And um, you all know during Bliss experience Abuja, when Moses Bliss had that disappointment, that, you know, immediate disappointment when he came into the country and discovered that the Bliss experience Abuja Hall was locked up. Ibuka Songs was part of the people that helped reshare the program on his Instagram story. If they are in very bad terms, I don't think Ibuka Songs will do that. If they are enemies, I don't think Ibuka Songs will do that. Because the likes of um, Vicky James, even Peter Sinokopi, um, Judy K, Joe Praise, Prosper Ochima, a lot of them reposted it to, you know, help create more visibility for those that are not aware of the new venue. And Ibuka Songs did that too. So, so I just feel that maybe it's one of these, their record label dispute here and there. You know, once something has to do with an institution, business, money, you know, this one wants to get their freedom, this one wants to do their thing. I think disputes will always come in. So after that Bliss experience, we have Ibuka Songs, we shared it on his Instagram story. I started looking at this in a different way that maybe they are not really in bad terms like that. Maybe it is just you didn't treat me well and I left, or they just had one or two paperwork disagreements. You understand? So that is how I said I seen it, you know, after then. Because to me, like I would always say, there is a place of mentorship in gospel ministry. If Ebuka Songs felt he had, you know, learnt enough from Moses Bliss or he feels he has Moses Bliss has tutored him to an extent it's not left for you to live amicably without making a scene about it or granting interviews about it or, or you know setting um concerts the same day with the person just give honor to who it is due to even if sometimes the people don't deserve it just give it not for yourself but for posterity's sake because same thing happened with easy concept and messi chungo messi chungo left easy concept i have never seen her talk about easy concepts to date and then um, there are rumors that oh she and easy concept are not in good terms i don't know how true it is but i have not seen messi chungo indirectly shed easy easy concept or make it very obvious that they are not in good terms because even guc left easy concept recently but he left on a very very good note you understand there was even an award night for him he was celebrated well he was sent off well everything was you know done well i feel these are the kind of things we need to embrace as body of christ when you a mentor under someone try not to live on a bad note even if your mentee is um behaving a funny way towards you just you know for the sake of christ just try as much as possible to live there on a good note you understand once more congratulations to Ebuka songs on this concert i pray that god makes it a very very huge success for him my lovelies that's all i have for you in this video do well by liking the video. Do well by subscribing to the channel. I'm Ami React over here. I do just I do reactions and all that good stuff. I'll see you in my next one, my beautiful people. Bye bye.